That's a lot of damn Snicker bars. What you're looking at here is an entire yard of Snicker bars. That's 18 entire candy bars. So for the sake of freak eating science, I'm gonna find out how long it takes one man to power through a whole yard of Snickers. I hope you're hungry. And welcome to the next episode of Freak Eating vs. the World. Today, to kick off football season, I'm a little bit late, but here we go. I'm going to eat an entire yard of Snickers. So let's open this thing up. Always screw it up. And so basically that is two entire trays stacked end to end, nine Snicker bars a piece. So let's get rid of all the fancy fanciness there. With no further fanfare, no BS, and no stalling, let's find out how long it's going to take me to power through 18 Snicker bars. That's two entire pounds of candy. So here we go. Snickers. One. Mmm. Oh, this one's super hard. I'm gonna open the door to see if I'll let a cat in. Hey, Charlie, you wanna come in? Charlie! Damn cat. It's around this time that I should mention that I've had this candy around forever. I'm not sure when I bought it, I think maybe around last Christmas. The best by date is July 2016, and it is currently about three months after that. We're almost in October, so this stuff expired three months ago, but no matter. It's just a little hard, but it's still good, it's still good. And I've got nine down. That is half of all the candy bars I had in front of me. One pound of chocolate is in. About 2,500 calories down. A lot of stats here. A lot of stats. I didn't really intend to do this without water, but I started without and I just kept going. I do up a cup of water under the table in case I can't keep going. But I figured, what the hey, we're already here doing it no water, so let's just go no water. Pound in. 
I don't feel as awful as I did when I did the Yard of Twix bars, and I'm not sure if you've seen that video. I'm gonna put a little picture up here, link down below so you can check that out. Excuse me. The Yard of Chocolate was this big deal around Christmas time, and it sucks that they don't sell it year round, because I think it's kind of a cool, like, funny gimmick thing. And they're just, they're just normal candy bars, like, stacked up. No reason you couldn't sell this year round. You know how with some people a light bulb comes on when they had a really good idea? Well, I have a light bulb that comes on when I realize I'm doing something really stupid. And right now the light bulb just kicked on. And it's starting to get tough. It's starting to get a little bit tough. So it's going to be time for mind over natter. And I'm going to have to really push hard to get down this final six. Here we go. My brain doesn't even want me to chew anymore. Sometimes when the eating gets tough, you've got to do anything just to keep your mind focused. Sometimes when I'd be doing a restaurant challenge, you'll find me like tapping my foot on the ground. Sometimes rapping against a table. Sometimes nodding your head. You just do anything to kind of get your mind off what your stomach's feeling like. And I'm at that point. Try to push. Can't give up now. Can't see anything, but all I know is I got two Snicker bars to go. Two Snicker bars and I'm home free. If I did the first 16, I can do the last two, so let's do this thing. Thank you. 
Blah. It doesn't even taste like chocolate anymore, but I got one more Snickers bar. One more Snickers bar. And then we can call it a day. And Matt makes 18 Snicker bars, two pounds, 5,000 calories. Not quite 5,000, but close, close. Ow, I just bit my tongue. 17, no problem. Last Snicker bar, bite your tongue, damn it. They're so chewy. That's all I can stand. I can't stand no more. Woo! And that's all of them. All the Snicker bar, the whole yard. Dedicated to the start of the new football season. I know I'm late, but so it goes. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to Freak Eating if you love food challenges, because I've got a new crazy food challenge coming every Saturday night. Competitive eating is the science of stupid, and I like to think of myself as one of the scientists in that field. So I will see all of you in the next video, and even if I don't see you, you'll see me. So stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat like a freak, until we eat again. And I do believe I've earned this nice tall glass of water. Man, when you're thirsty, water is the most delicious drink in the world.